Hello, hello guys, and today I'm going to show you my newer kettle. Now, I thought I'd actually done a video on this, but I can't find it, so I'm going to assume I hadn't, okay? Now, this is the comparatively newer kettle. It's actually um, not quite as advanced in meant some ways as the old one. Um, this is actually a budget version, but it's a it's made by the same company. They're both made by Russell Hobbs, which is a quality, um, affordable kettle over here if you want a good one. But I don't mean like people from multi-millionaires or anything, but just normal people want a good one. Generally, Russell Hobbs is a good brand to go with. Um, this is the, but the cheap uh, budget one they do. So it doesn't have certain features that the other one did, for example. On the other one I showed you, um, it lit up. I'm not going to show you that now, but on another video I did it so that this would actually light up when you switched it on. When you switched on it would light up and it's in orange light. Um, other videos for that. On this one it's just a black switch, so when you switch it on you don't see any lighting whatsoever. You just have to listen to see if it's working and obviously see if it's like warming up. Um, so there's no visual cue of any kind on here that it's actually working when it's switched on. Um, the base is identical, pretty much. And you can actually use the base from one kettle. You know, the, you, put, you actually put this um, basically onto a base. And you can use the same base for both kettles. Um, on the other one... It used um, a button where you pressed it to come open. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, on this one, there is no button to press because it's a budget one. You literally just lift it up. Now, I've actually taken off the top on this one, on the old one, just to show you something. Okay. And although you wouldn't normally take the guts out because it's slightly faulty, I, um, I've done it anyway. And it will actually fit in, but not as snugly. So on here it will fit very tight. On um, the new kettle, you'll see if I just put it in, I have to actually push it down, because it's designed for this kettle. Because it wasn't actually the new, the lid for the new kettle wasn't designed for the old kettle, it will drop, stra it will drop straight in. So I'm not even pushing it in. Just, I mean, you know, obviously I have to like make sure it fits, but... You know when it goes down properly but the point is i'm not really pushing it in it's just not so much it's just virtually goes it virtually drops in because it's actually loose so it will like if i lift it up it would probably shake out because it's not really designed for it it's, it's very loose whereas on this one if i push it in I can't really shake it okay and the original mechanism that was meant to be in the old one um, which is this um, it's got a it's got a spring which goes in here I bet if it's slightly broke because I don't know how but it's slightly broke because I've opened it so many times the lid so many times it's slightly broke so there's a bit of plastic broke off so I'm going to put that in here yep and so the idea was you press this button you see it shot up on the old one so on the other one, you just basically originally press this button, it would shoot up, but it would shoot up properly, not like that. And you know, you would you wouldn't lift the lid out. You just press it, it would open. You'd lift it up, and then you it would never go totally up. So where you press it, it would go up so much, and then you could lift it all the way back and then close it. It won't go quite as well as it used to do because, as I said, it's like messed up but it doesn't matter because I could always take this out completely and use the lid I've actually tried it I've actually tried using this lid on the um, old one and it will actually boil so 
that's no problem. And it was switch off after it spawned. Now I fixed the old one, sort of. You know, there's no video for that anyway. So this is the um, brand new kettle. It's not brand new, but it was the new one when I bought it. Okay, I know it's staying the this blatant the office, but it was about it was new about roughly just less than two months ago. This was the one that I've done all the videos about, and you know I've tried to repair several times. This is one that works perfectly, okay? So, for somebody who said I should just go out and buy a new kettle, I actually did do so, and this is it, okay? So, there were more expensive versions which did fancy lights and things like that, but to be honest, I'm on a budget, so I'm trying to save money, and um, it's just a job. The only thing I would have liked would have, was a light, but apart from that, I'm not too bothered. Um, also, although I normally like the idea of a lid that pops out when you press a button, it's, if it's going to break down and, you know, self-destruct with wear, then it's not a lot of point, you know, so it means there's less to go wrong with this one. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's my, um, I'm going to call it the newer kettle. Okay, so this is my newer kettle made by Russell Hobbs. Okay, I'm not going to show you me actually boiling it because it's pointless. It doesn't light up. It doesn't do anything fancy. It just works. And all you would see is just steam after a while coming out of here. You see nothing else. So it's not really a very interesting video to do, to show it boiling. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.